Back in 2024, the Pokemon company released a product that has flown under the radar of many people, and this product includes quite a host of different cards that actually can be used to complete Master Sets and some Scarlet and Violet promos. So sit back and relax as we rip into this product, and as we roll that intro, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. So here we are, we're with our Battle Academy 2024 edition that was released back in June. Now this product has, well, quite a whole host of different different cards that come in the set. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to quickly switch over to our screenshot here. We'll have a quick look at what comes in the Battle Academy 2024. So this is the third entry in the Battle Academy product uh, that was released June 21, 2024. And the kit was based on the Japanese version of the Battle Academy, available earlier in the year. It served as an introductory platform for those wishing to experience the DCG. Well, that's not really uh, myself, that's not really this channel. We're just looking for the cards that come in this set that have a different print than everything else. Um, so what do we see um, in this that is a little bit different? Well, the cards in this set that were localized from the Japanese products they all became Scarlet and Violet Black Star promos. Plus a few more, which we'll get into soon. So, promotional cards, you know, we've got Armour Rouge, Pikachu, Marit, Flaffy, Ampharos, Darkrai, Pawniard, Bishop, King Gambit, Picnicker, and Maridon. So these are all SVV promos between 105 to 148. But let's switch back over to our main set here, and we'll have a look uh, just at the packaging. So we've got, you know, some of the cards here that we'll receive within that deck and we do get a Armour Rouge, a Darkrai and a Pikachu deck to play in this one if you're into uh, playing that is, but we're not. We're into collecting. So let's have a look at what this, this box actually includes for those of you out there who are actually really hell-bent on completing sets. So we've got promo cards and we've got special print cards in here as well. So there's our package um, with the plastic removed. I'm just going to lay this down, slide the top of this box off, and let's have a look just quickly at what we get inside there. So we get basically the, the cardboard fold-out playmat. We get, I'll read this first guide, rules reference for the Dark Rye deck, the Pikachu deck, and the Armour Rouge deck. Here's our damage counters. There's our coin. If you're wanting to play this on TCG Live, there you go, you can have that one. So here's the deck box for the Darkrai deck, the deck box for the Pikachu deck, and the deck box for the Armour Rouge deck. Now these actually do seem quite nice. I don't know if you, yeah, they, we can go and get that on camera there. It's got a little bit of a sheen on it. A little bit of a metallic kind of look, which is this is a, f a big upgrade from uh, the 2023 version. The 2023 version was pretty basic, it was pretty pretty generic, pretty boring. But this one's got a bit of a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, don't need that, so we're going to push that one off to the side there. Move everything else out of the way. I'm just going to chuck these ones up here, and we'll rip into the Pikachu deck and have a look at the cards that we get in this deck that are going to help flesh out some of that set. So, here we go with card number one. It's our Pikachu EX, so that's Black Star promo number 106. So that's going to head its way into the promo binder. And here's where things start getting maybe a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to start with a good handful of these to start with because we have a youngster here from the Scarlet and Violet base set, but it has the 59 stamp on the bottom there from the Pikachu deck. So this is a different print. I mean, it's not much, it's not a big change, but 59. So we've got a watch rule, again, same, number 58. So these are all numbered. So Scarlet and Violet, Paldea Evolved, Great Ball 57. Electrode, Paldeo Evolved, number 56. Voltorb, 
Haldea Evolved, 55. Scarlet and Violet 1, 54. Nimona, a Flaffy. That's Scarlet and Violet Promo number 108, but it's also stamped with the 53 Pikachu deck. So we get a really good host. I'm just going to do a quick flick through all of these ones so you can see what sets they're from and what is actually stamped on them. But yeah, like they're even different numbers. Even that youngster has a different number printed on it than the last one did. So they're all, every single card in this deck, even the energies, are actually going to uh, be able to go into the deck. Now this one here is a little bit different. Being a picnicker, it's actually uh, a Black Star promo number 114. It's it's not just from a regular set. That's a Black Star promo. So well, I'm going to put that one off to the side. Um, that Mareep also, Black Star promo. Actually, so was that Ampharos. To be fair, I, I did miss that. I was just flapping the gums a little too much and not really focusing on what I was doing. But yeah, every single one of these cards is an alternate print from the rest. They're not all the same, even that, different. So this is worth probably actually picking up, so, you know. Black Star promo. Regular Energies, Paldea Evolved, again. Scarlet Violet Base, again. Next half of the set is going to be... So yeah, the number just keeps keeps decreasing. But the number of cards we're adding to our binders is increasing. Black Star Prime, I'm pretty sure I just uh, glossed over that Ampharos again. But yeah, 25. 23, that's a Black Star promo and we'll ride on that one, so that one's a different print. You haven't seen that one before. Same with the Amphros, of course, obviously. More energies, more Black Star promos. Our Black Star promo uh, binder is actually going to grow significantly after this video. Potions, Rotom, so we're down to number 13 now, 12. 11, 10, 9. Have we got any more Black Star promos or have we just got energies? No, we've got an Electro there. There's another promo. More energies, promo, and regular cards. So that's the Pikachu deck. We've still got two other completely different decks with its own cards in there. Uh, but I'll obviously spend a little bit more time off camera going through these to make sure I've got everything separated correctly in terms of black star promos and uh, regular set cards but that's a me problem that's a me problem it's not something you'd want to be sitting here and uh, wasting time on right oh so we have our second deck and it's the armor rouge deck and so there's the armor rouge card it's number one zero five I've just realized that uh, one of my lights was off so that should uh, hopefully be a little bit a little bit better, a little bit easier to see. Yeah, Black Star Promo number 105, Armor Rouge EX. I'm gonna say the quality of these cards doesn't seem all that great. They seem a little bit on the on the cheaper side. But again, we've got more cards that have now the Armor Rouge stamp in the corner there. And they all have a different number for the deck that they come from so is there any cards within this armor rouge deck there we go uh, picnic a promo or more black star promo cards Mona again switch so we're down to number 38 so the energy cards are going to be one of those things that you know exactly where do i put them in the binder because Energy cards aren't really specific um, to to a set because they are literally just SVE. They're not SV1 or PAL or anything like that. They are just SVE. So potentially, maybe what I might do is I might put them in the Scarlet Violet base. Yeah, just the base folder. I think maybe not the promo folder because they're not a Black Star promo card. But I can just put that in the base Scarlet and Violet set. So we're down to card number 22. 
We've only come across one type of Black Star promo card so far in this, and that was the Picnicker. There's only been two examples of it so far. Is there going to be any more within this as we get down to number 13 for the deck? 11, 10. So we're, we're literally talking 180 different cards within this box alone that all have an alternate print from everything else that we have seen. So that's a huge number. And when you boil it down in terms of cost per card to fill out your binders, significantly, uh, significantly lower than any other card really, because this product cost, uh, I think it was $40 for myself um, to get all of the all of these cards really it's 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 a lot so forty dollars spread over 180 different cards is is significant value really and here's our dark rye so that's black star promo number 110 so both the armor rouge and the pikachu i believe we have seen those as um ex cards in different sets the dark rye however is something that we have not seen there we go Adjust the seat, probably get myself back in frame a little bit better. Dark right EX, and again, we're gonna, we're gonna quickly run through these ones too. So, you can see these ones have the dark right stamp down there now. What I can see that is a little bit different here is that these dark right cards aren't numbered. So, the reason this is is because it, you know, you, you start with your Pikachu and your Armor Rouge. Um, as your starter, learning to play the game, and as you want a little bit more, so there's a King Gambit, Brackstar promo number 113. Um, as you want a little bit more of a challenge, then you jump into the Dark Ride deck. So actually, I was a little bit incorrect. There we go, Blackstar promo number 111 and 112. And there's 114 with a Dark Ride deck as well. Um, it's not going to be 180 cards in total because all of these ones do not have numbers on them. So it's going to be significantly less, but still, it's, you know, it's going to be, you know, easily over 120, what, maybe about 150 cards in total. So it's still a pretty good uh, value for money product if all you're doing is looking for alternate prints of cards. Cyclers are King Gambit, Blackstar promo again. Another energy, another Nimona, Corneard, a little 111, it's a Lazzle, Youngster, Scarlet and Violet, uh, 112, sorry, there we go, Eveltal, Great Ball. So at this point, it looks like we have really seen all of the cards that come in the deck, quite potentially. But we don't have that money left, so we're just going to quickly try and get through these as quick as possible while also giving you a chance to see exactly what is in them before we really move on to you know chucking these into a folder and seeing how the folder looks with all these uh, additional cards in there and that was the last card so let's check out that folder so having sorted and binded all of these up, let's have a look at just how many cards you actually get from the 2024 Battle Academy that if you really want to flesh out that, that binder with all the different alternate prints, here they are. This is literally just the energies. So the fire energies from the Armor Rouge Battle Academy deck. We've got basically two full pages, you know, numbered from the lowest up to the highest in that page. We've also done the same with the electric, exactly the same number of energy. So it's 18 and 18. Again, these ones are numbered. Um, however, the dark literally has only just got the one because there are no numbers on that set because it is a, you know, a little bit more of an expert level deck for the Battle Academy. So that is that in terms of the, the energies. Now, I did find that having this many extra energies I've run out of room in my normal binders um, for any of my uh, energies, you know. So I've literally filled out a 540 something uh, card deck with just the base cards in the set for a master set plus all the alternate prints. Like this is this is Nuzlocke hardcore mode. 
So we're going to move on from the energies now, um, because I'm going to have to do my own deck on just the energies. And we're going to move on to um, Scarlet and Violet 1. So we're starting with the Houndoom. Again, we're starting with our um, basically our set number uh, for the Scarlet and Violet, uh, followed by the energy, well, the energy type, then the set number, and then the Battle Academy deck. So we've got the Hound Owls, the three different Hound Owls with their respective uh, battle deck numbers. The Hound Dooms, again, same thing. Torfels across the top with the Skeleton the Dirge there. Rotoms, Watchrules, Cyclers are, and then we move into our trainers, which is quite a few of those. Now, uh, Electric, um, Jack, Nimonas, and the different, you know, so we've got the Armor Rouge, we've got the Pikachu, and we also have the Dark Rye one up there. Uh, Nest Ball, same thing, one of each of those. We've got the Potions uh, from Armor Rouge, Pikachu, Dark Rye, same thing for the Switches and the youngsters and that literally takes us literally like i said i couldn't fit the energies in here that takes us to the very last page of the binder like and this binder is is pretty much aside for those two there's some more cards coming for that but pretty much chocker's full it's got everything in there it is completed so it's 500 and something i think it's 540 cards in each of these binders and so having those alternate prints has literally filled it out we'll move on to paldea evolved now so we're gonna pretty much the same thing uh, we are getting less and less cards because Scarlet Violet 1 had the most amount of cards in there but we've got the Crocolaws, um, we've got the Charcadets, we've got the Voltorbs, the Electrodes, the Killer Watchful, Survivor, Boss's Orders, the Great Balls and finishing off again last page of the Great Balls but still do have a little bit of room left in that one because there wasn't as many cards from that deck as the uh, Scarlet and Violet was. Um, then we go into our Obsidian Flames, and Obsidian Flames did have the least amount of cards to add. It just had two Larvestas, one Volcarona, a Salandon, and a Salazzle. That was all there is, so that leaves us plenty of pages left in that binder. And we move on then to our Paradox Rift, so a little bit more than Obsidian Flames. We've got the Foy Cocos, we got Eveltor, and we have the Mela up here, so that just finishes off the decks themselves. And then we'll move on to the promo binder. I did have to shuffle a few of the cards around in these promo binders, because uh, I didn't realize at the stage of when I was building this just how many promos there would be. Um, but we start basically here with our Mareep. So that's 107. And then we've got the rest of them are the Reaps with their different Battle Academy deck numbers. Flaffy is the same, Ampharos the same, then we move into the Pornians, Bisharps, King Gambits, and the different Picnickers there as well. So, oh, and there was the one last card. If we flip over again, the Maridon was the very last card in that uh, product that is a Black Star promo. And so that's exactly pretty much how many cards you're gonna get. It's, it's, it's kind of insane how many cards you can fill out your binders with, with the alternate prints just for these. And not to forget, we also do have the, the three EXs. So you should probably put those where they belong. 106, 105, and 110. I did not leave a space. How about I fix that? And there we are, fixed. Just like magic. And our dark rice slides right in there. And that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you coming along and checking this out with me. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop another video. Like the video as well and drop a comment down below and let me know how you're going with your sets. And I'll see you on the next one.